welcome back. So today I'll be doing a review of a product that I recently bought from Harvey Nichols that is crazily hyped and I finally got my hands in it. Um, it is the, the product in question is the Ooh, I'm actually holding it the right way up. The Fenty Beauty Foundation. I've been wanting to try this foundation for ages, but I never actually, um, whenever I went to Harvey Nichols, or when I went to Harvey Nichols, it's a massive queue, and I just didn't want to stand in the rain to wait for it. So now that the hype has actually gone down a little bit, I thought I might as well go and buy it. And I bought it, and yeah. So let us see if this product is worth the hype. As usual, I'm going to prime my face with the Kat Von D primer. I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand and just work that into my face. I use my hand because, I don't know, this thing is better for me to use my hand. Just have it on my face like a moisturiser. I didn't buy the primer for the Fenty Beauty um, because I didn't actually feel that I needed it because the Kat Von D ones I don't know, it does what I need it for it to do, so I didn't buy another one. But I might change my mind once this one's finished. So I'm just going to go with the foundation and I'm not going to colour correct my face because I just think that a lot of people have said that this foundation covers up a lot of imperfections. So I'm just going to go in now, just uh, work that into my face and let's see um, if this foundation is worth the hype. So I'm just going to do, not, not going to do, I'm going to put just a tiny little bit if it comes up it's very very watery just a tiny little bit back of my hand and I'm gonna actually try to see if it makes any difference I'm gonna apply half of my face with a brush and the other half with a beauty blender I'm sorry it's dirty but there's another clean one over there I don't want to use it so I'm just gonna go in with a brush and my blue actual wig <laughs> is all over the place so, oh my god, I forgot my mirror. I'm just gonna get off my get my mirror. <laughs> so here's my mirror. Here's my mirror. Oh my god, the foundation is done. So I'm just gonna work that into my face. And the foundation is very very light. Again, very easy to work with. And the thing is that when the makeup artist in the store actually tested the colour on my skin the foundation she didn't even use that much so I'm going to see if it's the same with me when I'm using it at home because I tend to wear like a loads and loads of layers of foundation so as I can work in that into my skin I can see that the foundation covers up a lot it doesn't even feel like I'm wearing any like something on my skin tone. It feels I'm not on my skin tone. It doesn't even feel like I'm wearing anything on my skin. It feels very light on the skin. Let's look at that, it's actually covered most things I'd want it to cover. So now I can see why a lot of people were hyping this foundation. <laughs> and I'm really late doing this because yeah, I'm late to do almost everything. Because I actually went to the Harvey Nichols store and me and Celia and Chris, doing Christmas and there was a massive queue and I was thinking to myself I'm not standing in the rain for just makeup um, but I finally got it now because there wasn't any queue and it was easy for me to get my shade tested because when I actually looked on um, what's it called on, on Twitter, not Twitter on YouTube and I can see like other YouTubers that I think are my skin tone I'm using a uh, foundation that's a lot darker than mine because I actually thought I was 470 but I'm not it turns out I'm actually uh, what is it? 440 so luckily I didn't buy it online because I would have been screwed by now but anyway yeah so the foundation's actually really good it's just it's covered up everything it's just one layer and it's covered up most of everything and I don't actually need to colour correct but I'm going to try and see if I can work build it up because apparently it's meant to be a hey it's meant to be a high coverage or full coverage foundation medium to full coverage for all long wear light as air so let's see if that lives up to I mean on my skin let's see if that actually does what it says on the, on the packet 
Yeah, it's really, really good. <laughs> I really need to find words to describe things because I'm like, my book is really bad. It just feels like, it actually feels like my skin, even though I'm wearing foundation. And I'm using a, a, a dry brush. And it doesn't actually look oily on the skin either, which is amazing because for an oily girl like me, it's hard to find something that caters for very, very oily skin. So now I'm just going to put a little bit more and then work with the Beauty Blender on the other side of my face. I'm just going to put a little bit more again. It's very watery. I'm just going to go in with a dry beauty blender because I prefer working with a dry beauty blender than I do with a damp one. I'm just going to go in and see if there's a difference. It makes a difference with how you apply it or with what you apply it. So again, I'm just going to blend that in. Right in. And the colour match is actually perfect. So. Like I said, um, originally when I went online, I was looking at all the other YouTubers reviewing it. I was thinking, oh my god, I have to get a full, um, two colours, 470. And then it's not. So, again, easy to work with and blends seamlessly with the brush. And I can see as well with the Beauty Blender, blends seamlessly. So easy. Worth it on my skin, it doesn't feel heavy at all. And it covers everything. I sound very surprised, even though I've seen like so many reviews, I still am surprised at how beautiful this foundation is on my skin. It's just, thanks Rihanna <laughs> for bringing out such an amazing, amazing foundation. Uh, should I put more? I think I'm going to put more. I'm going to use the brush because the brush is way easier to work with. So that's um, half, this half with a brush and this half with a beauty blender and again, yeah, it just looks like I'm not even wearing anything. I'm actually, sorry, I'm, I'm blowing, finding myself because it's really hot in here. Like the lights, it's just really hot and I'm wearing this big jumper. I don't know what possessed me to wear something this big, but um, let's go back to the foundation. It's beautiful, it feels very, very light on the skin and it covers up pretty much a lot of the dark spots and stuff on my face that I would like to cover up. I'm just going to put a little bit more to see if it's buildable and work out with a brush on my face because I just prefer working with a brush to it. Work, 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 work. <laughs> it does look a little bit yellow but when it goes into my skin and it oxidises, it just matches my skin tone perfectly. I would say um, the coverage is actually very, very good. I would say that the coverage so far, I've seen, look at that, it's covered up everything that I want to colour and I haven't even colour corrected my face. Uh, for rating for coverage, I would give it a 4.5. I know it's very high and very generous, but yeah, I've had to do like two pumps and 2.5 pumps for me to get um, sort of like a full coverage, what I would consider full coverage. So I would give it a 4.5 because like I said, it covers up everything that you want, to, that I want it to cover. So, um, yeah, coverage definitely, I'm going to give it a 4.5. I know it's high, but this foundation definitely deserves it. And Brianna, like, the buzz and everything around this foundation is worth it. So for, um, for colour match, I'm going to give this a 4 as well. Um, because again like usually like when you buy foundation for like um for me for example i usually have to mix two foundations to get my perfect match but for this one i'm using just one and i haven't actually had to use any color correctors so a four is just i don't want to give a five because yeah i don't i don't know i think there's always uh, area of improvement but I'm gonna give it a four. So my face is set and I can honestly say that this foundation is beautiful. I just set my face with the um I can't remember I think this is a Maybelline one. Oh my god I can't but yeah this is my face uh, thing that I've set my face with and it works beautifully with it. It's just a press powder. I've just set it with it and it's matte face is matte and yeah i can't actually say anything bad with it it just looks very very even everything just works it's 
beautiful candle. I don't know what else I can say about this. It's just I love it. That's all I'm saying. I love, love, and love this foundation. So we, we're now going to move on to transferability to see if this foundation is transferable for like say for example when you're hugging people and you kiss people like I kiss my boyfriend so I'm just going to test it with the cotton pad to see if it transfers to that because that's pure white so let's get transferring testing so as per usual as per my next last video I'm just going to use this cotton pad I'm going to press it against my face and actually it does not transfer on my nose just a little bit a tiny little bit and look at that just a tiny little bit on the pad as well so and it's still not very oily so I would say that this foundation is matte because my face looks completely matte usually like when you wear foundation like I said you break into a hive of oiliness and it hasn't broken into a hive of oiliness even I'm sitting in front of two and these heavy lights that are so I'm actually cooking in this jumper right now. So for transferability, I'm gonna give it a four because it's not bad. I've used worse before and yeah, this is actually very good. And I pressed it on my face, all over my face. Let me try the other bit as well. So look, just a, just a tiny little bit. Usually like when I put it on my face, like a smidge of it, like loads of it, actually not a smidge, like a chocolate chunk of it goes onto like the pad. And for this one, it actually doesn't transfer that much. So for durability, I'm not actually gonna score that. Actually, I can actually score that because I wore it on Saturday when we went out and I wore it for about a couple of hours, I'll say at least like six hours and it didn't move, it stuck in my face and I kissed my boyfriend several times and it was raining, it was cold, it was windy the foundation still stayed in place so for durability I'm going to give it a 4 as well because I think for the however long I wore it for it stayed in place, it didn't move so a 4 for that as well oh yeah and it's going to be for weather with word of proof as well so I'm going to give that a 4 for that because I went through rain, not snow but rain, um, hot, uh, I went in the tube and I went everywhere with it and yeah the wind was blowing my face, the wind was blowing my face and everything. You know how London weather is lately, it's been horrible so um, overall, so overall this foundation I'm going to give it a 4 star rating because it's just amazing and there's always um, areas of improvement but from using it I can I can safely say that it's an amazing foundation and it's definitely worth the hype it ticks a lot of boxes especially for colored people and for people who actually have um, suffer from oily skin um, I can see safely say that this foundation um, can actually is for all skin tones not only for um, oily skin tones as well so definitely worth the hype and Rihanna has actually done an amazing job and I can't wait to try on more of her uh, beauty brand, not beauty brand, I want some more of her makeup brands because I think that they, they actually might be worth, I mean they might actually be worth the hype. So I hope you've enjoyed my review of the, the Fenty Beauty Foundation. Don't forget to like, subscribe, look at me doing my thumbs up. Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on your notification so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. And also don't forget to check me on all my social media links, which I'll be leaving in the description bar below. And also, don't forget to comment as well, because I love to read your comments, because that's what I live for. And I want to know what you would like for me to do on this channel, because I love a lot of things, not just makeup, clothes. I love movies, I love TV shows. And talking about movies, if you haven't seen my latest video, go ahead and check that out. It's on the channel right now. And I shall see you in my next video. Bye!